I'm going to create a project, create a Maven web application. I'll just call it com Composite Component. I'm going to choose Glassfish and hit Finish. I'm going to copy this directory which I'm also going to use in the project. It contains an image file for a required image. So the component I'm going to make will end up having an input field, a label, and an image. First thing I'm do, going to do is add in the JSF framework. I'm having some slight problems with QuickTime, so you have to forgive me. QuickTime is causing the whole computer to slow down slightly. Once the project opens, I'll end up creating just a basic layout. We'll open up our index HTML, XHTML file. First thing I want to do is add an H form. And then I want to add an output label. I'm going to say that the value is empty at the moment and that it's for, we'll call it input. Next I'm going to create a graphic image. I'm going to set the value for this. I'm going to use resource. And I'm going to put in images. And you can see that we added this in earlier. Icon required GIF. Last but not least, we want to add an input. And then we'll give it an ID of input. And then we'll leave the value here. Blank as well. And we'll run it. While it's getting ready to run, we'll add on a couple more things to make this more complete. We want to make it a required field. And when this runs, we'll end up getting what you would expect, a simple input field icon around it. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to add a command button. Submit it. And let's add the text to J. 
check that out. I'm gonna leave that unbound at the moment. Here, a composite component. Before we add the magic, and we do, as you can see, we have the button and we also have the icon. All right, so what we really want to do is if we wanted to reuse this component, we want to select it, select the information that we're after. In this case, we're after the output label, the graphic image, and the output or the input text. I'm going to right click on it, select refactor, and convert it to a composite component. We're going to call it required input. And we'll hit finish. This will convert the uh, component into a composite component for us. We'll open this up and we'll add some bindings. So, we'll add an attribute. We'll give it a name called label. And we'll actually make it required. Because we want everything to have labels. We'll add another attribute. Call that one input, and we'll make that required. And then down here, we'll bind them. We'll save that. We'll go back to our page here. And now we should have the label is required. So we'll say name and input. We'll leave that blank at the moment. And we'll create a quick page or a quick backing bean here. We'll call it index beam. We'll make it a managed beam. And we'll add an attribute called name. Setter and getter. And we'll save that and we'll go back to our bean here and we'll say that it is now bound. Index bean name attribute and we'll bind this and say that it's bound to the index bean. Let's save. We'll reload our page here and see what we get. So it says that it's name. If I hit submit, it says that it's required. If I put in my name, it actually outputs. We'll make it a little fancier here. We'll put a break after this. And we'll put a break after this. Save it. 
reload our page here. And that concludes this demonstration. The source code will be available on my blog.